Welcome back everybody to another lesson with Schofield Welding. Today I am in charge, Jake's a little busy doing something else, but I'm going to talk to you guys about bevel machines. I'm going to talk to you about each of the components that goes with a bevel machine and then eventually I'm going to show you guys how to use one. It's very simple, all it is is the bevel machine has got a hand crank right here which turns the torch around the piece of pipe. If you need, this bevel machine is known as an 8 inch bevel machine but it goes anywhere from four inch to eight inch. It can cut pipe that's four inches in diameter all the way up to eight inches in diameter. Um, and the way that you change this bevel machine to be able to cut a different type of pipe is with what's known as dogs. If anybody ever asks you to go get dogs or you ever need somebody to go get an adjustment for your bevel machine, they're called dogs. Now, what this one has on it right now is it's got these little nubs right there. So this is an 8 inch bevel machine dog. So when you're using that machine you'll need those on if you're going to cut an 8 inch. I'll show you the difference between an 8 inch and a 4 inch. Say I was going to cut a 4 inch piece of pipe. So as you can see my difference, what it does is it helps center that piece of pipe in the middle of your bevel machine. So if I put these on that bevel machine I'll be able to cut a 4 inch piece of pipe because that four inch piece of pipe is now centered on my bevel machine and we'll show you guys that. I have a piece of eight inch and a piece of four inch that I can show you how to cut. Having said that, the only example I have for you guys today is this eight inch bevel machine. But a Matthew Deerman also makes a 12 inch bevel machine and a two inch bevel machine and I believe they can make all the way up to like a 24 inch bevel machine. I've seen something that big before. Uh, and so when it comes to some of these other types of bevel machines, like a 2 inch is another very common one that you probably will use. Um, your dogs are a little different. So it looks very similar to this bevel machine. The chains might look just slightly different, uh, but the bridge, which I'll get to what a bridge is here, is replaceable between the 8 inch and the 2 inch. Now back to those dogs. So this is what a 2 inch bevel machine dog will look like. And once you see a 2 inch, you'll notice how it bolts in. There's just a bolt that goes in through the top right here. And this part will saddle your piece of pipe. There's several different sizes because a 2 inch bevel machine, I believe it's called a 2 to 4 inch bevel machine, will come with dogs that will cut 2 inch, 2 and a half inch, 3 inch, and 4 inch. So make sure that if you're cutting a piece of 2 inch with a 2 inch bevel machine, You've got the right dogs because that two inch and two and a half inch dog will look really similar. So make sure you've got the right ones put on because your cut will be skiwampus or will be crooked if you don't have the right dogs on. To your bevel machine, right here between these two connections, you'll have two wing nuts. Right here on your bevel machine, you'll just need to take those off slide this bridge on and then tighten those wing nuts down fairly tight. You don't want that bridge wiggling at all. I'll show you guys that right now. So just remove both of the wing nuts. Be very careful not to lose these, especially if you're working outside. Um, it's very easy to drop those in the dirt and for them to get lost, so be very careful with those. It slides itself on right there and you'll just tighten your wing nuts back down. Perfect. Now depending on the size of pipe that you guys are cutting with, you might need to adjust the port where the the torch sits. You might need to shift it further away from the bevel machine or keep it closer like I have it right here. The next thing I need to show you is a bevel machine torch. What this is, it's known as a short barrel. This is the most typical looking torch that I have seen, but there is something known as a long barrel, which ends up being probably this plus half of this. So we probably end up being more like about that long. And typically the torch on the end of it has a rotation. You'll see it eventually. 
What you have here is I have purchased a bent tip. A bent tip is meant to put a bevel on a piece of pipe. It's so that there's no real adjustment that you have to make. The part where the torch sits. So basically you can keep that torch sitting straight up and down and just aim your bent tip towards the pipe, the direction you want your bevel to go, and it will cut that bevel in. Now I've heard of welders, they have bent their own tips. I heard it's possible, I have also heard it's extremely hard. So don't think, these are expensive, and I'm, I would just buy a bent tip if that's what you You can put a straight tip on there. The only thing that you're gonna have to know to, uh, to do with a straight tip is on this bridge, you'll need to adjust. What you'll want to do is on this part right here, if you have a straight tip, you'll want to adjust where the tip, the torch goes to the angle that you want your bevel at. On the side here, you'll notice different degrees on the side of this bridge attachment. Um, adjust that to the steepness that you would like your bevel so that it can cut it that way. In order to put a tip in, I'm gonna put my bent tip in because it's the one I'm the most used to. So just remove that nut right there off the end of your, tip, your torch, place your tip just like that. I mean, piece of cake, just like that. It'll come right off, so be careful. Slide that right over. Now, if you guys aren't sure which tip to buy, just talk to any of the employees at the weld supply store that you go to. They'll know which type you need for your torch. That's how I do that. Now, for future reference, tighten this down with a crescent wrench. Don't just hand tighten it. So you'll slide this right here. Sorry, let me get out of the way of the camera. Slide that right inside here. You have to be careful because a BB can get caught down inside. So you'll slide your torch down there and you will either hand tighten yeah, try to keep it just hand tight. But if your machine, if your torch starts to move on you, you might need to take a little pair of pliers and to tighten it down there too. And this bridge, because it extends so far out, is very easy to bend and to tweak. And the whole freaking machine is messed up as soon as that happens. So let's say you decide to go out and become a helper for a welder. I would just recommend always grabbing it right here with this handle or keeping it close to the bevel machine itself. Don't grab out here. Don't push hard on the torch as you're setting it in to its spot or pulling it out. Just be very careful. Try to keep your hands close to this bevel machine. The last thing that I wanna mention on being careful with a bevel machine is they are specifically timed. If a bevel machine is dropped, or a bevel machine is cranked too hard, or anything like that, it can set, it can turn, what it can do is it can offset the timing of this chain with these gears right here. So your bevel machine, as it rotates all the way around a piece of pipe, has got this gap to breathe. Your bevel machine, as you move it around the piece of pipe, has to stretch itself across this gap right here. And so this machine has got a gear here and a gear here that will timed it, has timed itself perfectly that as it rotates around that bottom, it will grab a hold of one side as it lets go of the other. So if you end up dropping a bevel machine or anything like that, it's most likely that its timing is completely off and it has to be sent back in to either the manufacturer or to a professional who knows how to tighten it and have it re-professionally tightened. It's expensive, and if your welder happens to know how to do it, hallelujah, but I don't know of very many that do. So you do need to be extremely careful as you're handling these bevel machines, especially if they're not your bevel machines. Okay, in our next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use them. The important thing about using a bevel machine is making sure that you are quick about setting your torch heat. If you spend too long setting your torch heat, it's likely that you will blow a hole through this piece of pipe. I'll give you an example of not only setting the torch heat at an appropriate amount of time, 
but I'll show you what happens if you take too long. Stay tuned.